Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Settlers of Orion. This is a, a board game like turn-based strategy game being developed by Blue Blaze Gaming that hit Steam just a few days ago. Uh, basically this is, uh, it's a little bit space exploration, empire building, and a lot Settlers of Catan. We're going to be an empire here in, in a galaxy, uh, rolling resources to use those resources to capture planets and gather more resources to upgrade the planets and build ships and and get victory points is the uh, the whole goal here. Uh, now this is uh, it's an interesting kind of game. The UI is um, is horrendous. And this is coming from someone who plays a lot of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, if you can see past that, then there's, there's a lot of fun here. But I'll try to explain what's going on, and uh, hopefully you can follow along here. So it's first off, I've turned the uh, the windows down to very very quick. We'll see what that means in a minute, but. Um, Things may move along a little quickly here, but I'm going to try to explain what's going on and, and at least get into the game. Uh, we have allocate game tokens. If you spend money, you can get new races and all that in the game as well. Let's just try this thing out. So, new game. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so what's happening here is uh, a mess. But we have all the different races here that we can pick from. We've got the green lake, the pit flown, the shale, the arbor, air bore. They, they all give you different resources on their, cap on their home world. And they also give you a perk. For instance, these green lake give you plus one hydrogen from all hydrogen concentrators, which is a building you can put on your planet. Uh, desert folks, plus one from all resources on colonized desert worlds. Colonized deserts, you get more resources. Uh, we can change everything on the game map if you want. You can. Uh, we win at 30 victory points. Um, we go first. Tutorial off. We must pick one human and five AI. There's no way of getting around that, which is kind of annoying. But there it is. Um, so there we go, that's fine. We'll be the desert folks, the shale, the, the uh, alligator folks. We don't get any hydrogen, but we do get oxygen, food, research, metals, no crystals. We'll see what that means in a minute. Start this thing up. Okay. So, what's going to happen here, I'll go through all this stuff. We, uh, we're up here in the top. Go ahead and let the game start up here. It's my turn. Uh, I'm going to collect some resources on my home, the ones we saw just a minute ago. So I have resources. I've got oxygen, I've got food, I have research, metal, I have all those right there. We're going to use those resources to make things like colony ships, or scout ships, or mining factories on our planet. Uh, any of our planets, really. But let's roll the dice. Now this is where Settlers Catan comes in, which is pointless on the first turn. But eventually that'll come in very handy. Now it's my turn to build. So first off, I say we get a scout ship out there. So let's make a scout ship. Scout ship constructed. He's going to go out and do his thing. Uh, we can actually build a couple of those. Why not? Let's build two scout ships. Two scout ships. Now that we've built two of them, it's going to be a little more expensive to make scout ships from then on. You can see how much costly they are right here. Um, if it's yellow, we can make it. We can't make anything else, so we're going to end the build phase. Now it's on ship moving phase. They automatically fly around, but if we want, we can control them. But, you know, we'll let the game, the game can do it. So they go fly around and find some things. They have found a planet. Uh, he needs orders. Go over that way. Uh, yeah, no, unpause. Okay, he hit that and got stuck. Uh, so what we found here, we've, we found a supernova nebula. If we build a research ship, we can go get that, which gives us two research and one crystal every turn. Uh, this one, I can't see the number on there. Uh, level four, colony, uh, oceanic. We need a colony ship for it. We'll get hydrogen, food, and oxygen there. We have a, like a goodie hut out this way as well, and a scary space rift, which stopped our ship in its tracks. Okay. And my turn. Now, this is where I turn the um, the windows up as fast as I can. You can't skip the computer turns. You have to watch them. Uh, but they're doing the same thing we just did. They're collecting resources. They are uh, getting research cards. He, it's like he just bought, which I didn't show off. Uh, we have down here. Oh, it's the colony ship. Is it defiant? Yes. Um, but we got um, how many ships everyone has. We have the research cards. I have a couple, which we can look on my turn. Um, well, there we go. We can see them right now. It allows you to steal an opponent's colony ship. If I, it costs me two points, we can spend, we can use that to steal a colony ship. We can also make a free trade. Um, uh, let's see what else do we have down here. There's my resources per round that we're getting each time. There's the event that's happening. Whose turn is it? Green or uh, blue folks? We haven't met anyone, have we? So they are all over the, the universe here. We can see, I probably can't jump over here just yet. On Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so to win the game, we need... 30 victory points. So red guys actually have two. They may have colonized a planet, or they may have found something. Um, colonizing a planet, or... Uh, plus one victory point for controlling player for each colonized planet, and for each planet with the colony. Okay. Uh, logistics shows how many cards we have in our pockets, as well as all kinds of numbers that are uh, frightening to look at. But let's play our turn. Oh, we met green guys. Okay. So, it's now. Homeworld resource 
resource collection phase. There we go. Resources have screamed into my inventory. Now it's time to roll the dice. If we get, well, no numbers are going to be any good because I don't have any colonies. So this is a waste of a roll. But when you get a chance to roll the dice, I guess you just roll them. Uh, we gained a, um, a resource thing. Is that my... So every round, there's a, there's a thing happening. This round, current player gets one research card at the start of the build phase. Which, that's the thing for this round, which we got ourselves an extra way resource card. Which was, play cost one. I can't do this right now. If I can... Um, I might be able to do this right now. Let me, um, let me build things first. Uh, oh, I should be able to do this right now. I think. Yeah. Uh, I went to play this major food collector. It gives me three free food. I have one thing to spend. Oh, yeah. Um, we could also do a trade. No, no, let's free food. There we go. We got six food now. Okay, I think I'm going to build a colony ship. Colony ship constructed. constructed. We're going to colonize this ocean world down here. That's all we have found. We have, could take this research for the supernova for some research and some crystals. Sure. Research ship I cannot make. I could make if I had hydrogen and oxygen. I don't have either of those. Um, I don't know if I show this or not. My, my home world here is producing three metals, two oxygen, two food, one research. We saw those before. Uh, but we can upgrade that if we build some of these things. Uh, I don't think I have enough stuff for anything, though. Um, I could actually build a mining factory if I sold some food for some oxygen. Am I getting oxygen from here? Two oxygen. So, yeah, we'll just um, we'll just pass the turn, I think. Uh, I do want my scout ship to actually go on my, my move turn. We'll move him around. We'll select where he's going to go. Um, let's just end this turn, though. Check your ship's destinations before continuing. So yeah, you keep on going this way, and you, buddy, are gonna go grab that box. Hmm. Can we grab the box we got. Oh no, it goes too fast. I made it go too fast. Um, keep on going up there. Oh, is that all you're gonna move? Oh, because your stuff in, in the rift. So we found a couple planets though. We've got. We'll let the turn go, so we can look at them here. We got a uh, just one oxygen, two food, which is kind of terrible, and that's a twelve, which is never gonna get rolled. So the colony, your home world, produces every round. But the colonies you pick up only produce on the rolls. So those are kind of important to look at. So interesting interesting game. Um, there's a lot going on here, so I apologize if I've lost you at some point. But there's really, it's, it's a lot going on, but it's really not that complicated. If you've played Settlers of Catan, then it's basically that in space. Um, we'll eventually get to the point where we can start making some proper ships, get a lot of colonies out there, um, and getting a bunch of buildings on our colonies to get them producing more whenever we roll or just at the beginning of the turn. Um, if you can, you can do attacking and things by using your resource cards. Um, eventually, oh, okay, there we go. Uh, some of them are, oh, there you go, I can steal a colony ship if it's an open space. Someone leaves it out there and I get a couple points, I can go steal their colony ship. So that's sort of the, uh, that's the, uh, the tactical, I suppose, way of taking things. Um, my guy's going over here to this, uh, this oceanic world. We could change him if we wanted to. Probably the best one to get, though. Because these are all terrible numbers. So, yeah, we'll let him do that. Uh, my turn again. So, it's now a homeworld collection phase. We're going to go ahead and bring in some cash. Uh, well, you don't have any hydrogen coming in from anywhere. Are you going to give me hydrogen? Oh, I can't tell you right now. Roll dice. You will, so that's okay. So, five doesn't do us any good. But he's going to colonize this one in a minute. Uh, we could go with a hydrogen con con concentrator, though. Increases production by one. So, we would always get... Hydrogen at our home world. Let's do it. Build it and throw that little blob. See, it's a little blob. Hydrogen there. Concentrator so now this place produces one hydrogen. You can see over there uh, on the side. We got four build spots. We got them used. Um, let's see. We got we can build another scout ship. We can build a colony ship. I think we should do that because colony ships are kind of the thing. So let's go. Let's go colonize colony some things. Constructed. Okay. Next. Uh, oh, my cards. Um, so I want to take it's um it's oh build phase is done uh yes Check your ship's destinations before okay he's gonna go colonize that one we're gonna send him off I think I'm gonna go up this way so we can make sure we get the round here scene I really want that thing so if I can go let's go there and kind of see if we can work our way around here if we go in that rift we're gonna get stuck can you not move he found some things he found himself a rock planet. We really need this desert desert planet would be great. There's a black hole. We need to research ship for that. We'll get some research out of it. We use research. I think we use research. I mean, it's a, it's a resource we use for things. I think we use it to buy resource cards. I missed that part. Um, 
And, um, yeah, come back over here. What is that? Oh, a, a trade ship. Okay. Colony See, established. Excellent. Colony has been established. Perfect. This one is... I could have commanded this one around. It's going over to this guy here. I guess it's a good one to go to. If we see something next turn, we may turn around and go somewhere else. Uh, it'd be really nice to build some research ships. Or uh, oh, a wormhole, eh? We'll use that next turn. Or some asteroid field to get some metals and crystals from these, um, these asteroid belts over here. Space is funny looking. You know, asteroids just sort of randomly out there in, in space. And planets just thrown up all over the world. <laughs> or all over the cosmos. But, so we'll let the computer do their thing. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Empire stats over here. We have two points now because we have colonized some things. So we're, uh, we're back there. They're up at four at the old Pip Flown, who get plus one hydrogen from all extractor ships. Oh, okay. Um, these are, we have two research cards. We can have them up to, up to three right now, eventually seven. And, um, oh, my movement is two. Some people move it. They move at three. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. Um, I can have up to eight of each resource is my maximum I can have. Somebody's making some funny noises. I'm not sure what that is. So the trade works where that trade ship, what he does, um, we have, we can trade right now as a rate of four to one. Right, you've played Catan. So if we have four hydrogen, we can turn those in for one oxygen or whatever. Uh, we can do trade ships, which can lower that. I think you, I think I think it's with individual um, factions. So we can lower that number so we can trade, say, three to one or two to one. If we... Uh, I guess that's the diplomacy of the game, if you want to think of it that way. Green folks are cruising around here. Sorry, I got the, these things moving fast, but you have to have five opponents. It takes forever to move through the turn if you have it to where you actually read these things. Uh, okay, so homeworld collection phase. Let's pass that on. Bring in the, the stuff. We should have gotten ourselves a hydrogen from our new, uh, our new building. Excellent. So we have one of everything except for crystals. So we need, I think that mining ship might be the thing we can send out here to those asteroid belts. Let's roll some dice, though, and hit some fours. That's not a four. That's an eleven. That got us nothing. Okay. Uh, we're going to build ourselves a, uh, a mining ship, which is going to go grab one of those... Um, mining ship constructed. Yeah. Uh, over here and get some of these... That's a six. I can't tell the number when the ship's on it. Uh, but that'll get us uh, metals and crystals if we roll a six. That's all we, all we can do. We have a load of, uh, of oxygen. We can... Well, let's see here. What can I trade it out for? Anything, anything worth getting immediately? Could maybe get an extractor ship, couldn't I? Oh no, we need crystals. Maybe another scout ship. Let's see, if I trade away the food. What was my one card I had here? Make a one for one trade for free, so we could do that. Um, we need two food still, so. Maybe not. Nope, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. So we'll just let it go. Check your ship's okay, mining ship, you're gonna go there. Perfect. Scout, uh, go through that wormhole. See where you're gonna go, and you go that way. Oh wait, wait, get that box, goodie box. Every time you pick up a box, another one pops up on the screen somewhere. There's one right there too. Actually, uh, no, no. Well, as soon as they hit it, they end their turn. Oh, he's over here now. Okay. Ooh, who's is that? That is who's that? Is that not owned by somebody? Because that's fantastic. That's quite a planet. That's a really good planet. Oh, a desert world. Okay, we would get double because we are the desert people. A metallic one. Research card purchased. We got ourselves a research card, I think. Yeah, we got grant three medals just for free from uh, hitting that uh, that thing over there. Remote mining operation established. Colony established. All right, so we got a colony down here. You can see my, my face, my little face on the side of the thing. Um, and the, uh, the colony. So if we roll some good numbers, we'll be in good shape. In a turn and pass it on. Oh, a four. Do I get that? I do. Hooray. All right. That's good. We get, uh, what do we have? We had this one? Yeah. Hydrogen, oxygen, food. Perfect. I like that. Give me something good. Um, an eight's not going to do me any good. I'm sure he's going to pick up that thing. The container of, of stuff. There's one right here as well. That's like a, it's a rainbow world. <laughs> okay. Rainbow World. Yeah, we should go live there. That's an eight. That would be really good. That's a good number. It's a good world. We're going to build ourselves a colony ship. We're going to go get that one. Eventually. 
Eventually, you get cards, some resor uh, resource or research cards that will give you like free victory points as well. They're in there. Um, the other way of getting points is look at it here on my turn in a minute. It's your turn. Okay. Um, we get oh for uh, owning mastery fields that gives us a couple. There's black hole nebula um, extraction for having gas planets trade for each uh, trade ship docked at a trade center. Or exploration. Whenever you reveal 100 sectors, you get a point. Okay. And then three for getting all the sectors done. And that's it. Basically, just building things is what's going to get you the points. Uh, okay, so I need to get a colony ship, but I can't afford it because I don't have enough hydrogen and oxygen. What happened to all of it? I'm not bringing enough of it. I'm bringing two oxygen in. What happens? Why am I not bringing all my oxygen in? There's two there. We should have gotten... Hmm. I only have one, however. Well, we can turn food. Well, we need three food for that colony ship. Uh, oh, we can do it this way. We can use... Oh, we gotta do the home... Oh, I know why. There we go. Homework collection hadn't happened yet. Now we have it. We have a maximum of eight food. That's all we can carry. Uh, let's go ahead and roll those dice. See if we can get see if we can get a four here or a six. Five doesn't do us any good. Okay, now it's our build phase. Now we can... Uh, actually, we don't need to use that card. We can go grab ourselves a, uh, a colony ship. Colony ship constructed. He's gonna go there. Let me make sure we mark him to go there. Um, and that's all we can make at the moment, unless we do, let's see, can we get an extractor? No, we can get a research ship. Research ship goes where? I can't see because of the stuff in the way, but it goes, I think, here, yeah, black holes. Um, yeah, so we always, let's go play, oh, let's, um, why does this not work? I can't, like, there we go. Um, it's not in early access, but there's, there's plenty of bugs around, by the way. Um... Make a one for one trade. Yeah, I want to trade. I want to. I want to play the card. Not trade it away. Play it. I want to get rid of some food, and I want to pick up some. What was I wanting? Oxygen. Which is that one? Okay, so now we can make ourselves a research ship. Research ship constructed. Research ship constructed. Build phase done. Okay, so the colony ship, the Defiant, is going to go. Yeah, he knows where to go. To that one. The research is going to go. Oh, that's perfect. Research, is, research and crystal. Yeah, yeah. Go there. Okay, scout ship. Just do whatever you want to do. Head on down that way. Uh, you keep on going this way. I guess ideally they want to go grab these boxes. Okay, you got a box, which gives us some cards. Uh, and he's done moving. Once once you hit a box, you're done. We've got a, uh, another earth over there. Ooh, wait, there's a... Um, just stick by this guy because maybe we can steal him next time. Nebula research operation established. Okay, Nebula has been established. Colony ship is halfway there. End the old turn. And let's see if we can get ourselves a rainbow world. Oh, a six! I like a six. That gives me uh, something, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Asteroids. I knew there was a six in there somewhere. Remote mining operation established. Mining operation is somewhere. Not sure where that was. I can't. Oh, there's one right there. You can see the... You just barely see their uh, their symbol there. I believe I'm the only one on this side of the galaxy, I think. There's supposed to be six of us out there somewhere. We'll go colonize this rainbow world, and then we'll call it a day here. Um, there's... I'm trying to think of what else there is to show. There's a lot of things with trade that we can do, and um, the research cards I haven't really used much, but there's, there's a few of those. A few different ones of those. Of course, there's events that happen every turn. Which haven't really affected us too much. Right. Next. Almost my turn. And then we'll go in. Uh, we'll make sure we call. We grab our homeworld resources first. Hey, a five. Do I have any of those? I don't. Okay. Colony established. Oh, they it's colonized that one up there. Okay, my turn. Collect those resources. Okay, so now we're looking all right. We can go roll some dice. We can build anything that we want. We got ourselves a 12. Uh, what's the uh, the thing of the day? All plans to produce research units will produce one extra, including homeworlds. Oh, nice. Okay. That changes every, every round. Uh, I would like to make... What are we lacking? I wish there was a way... Is there a way of seeing what we produce each turn? Just what we, we have production on? I don't think there is. So ideally, our homeworld should have a little bit of everything, I think. 
So we don't have any hydrogen coming from here. Oh yeah, we do. We got because I've got a building. So we have hydrogen, we have oxygen, we have food, we have research. We don't have any metals. Yeah, we yeah we do. We don't have any crystals. So if we put in a mining factory, it increases metal or crystal and or crystal production by one. I'm not sure. Uh, built on your homeworld or any planet you have established as a colony, or on um, that already produces metal or crystals. Oh, so it wouldn't create crystals. It would just give me more metal. Okay. But if we, say, went to here, can I put one on there for more crystals? Um, well, we're about to get that one. I'm going to save it up for that one, I think. Let's just grab an extractor, which we'll grab from... Where's the extractors go? From... I don't remember. Uh, we can do more mining, though. Let's grab a mining ship. Mining ship construct okay, he'll get that. Uh, we have all kinds of things to spend our money on here. Uh, no, never mind. No more colony ships, but we can get a... Um, more food? No. More research? Sure. How about hydrogen? Second hydrogen one, we're going to put it... Can I put it here? For a second one? Hydrogen I can. Okay, so we have double hydrogen. We still only have two build spots left there. So we should be cautious about this. Um, and that's done. Check your ship's destinations before continuing. Okay, scout. You do that. Colony, you're going there, correct? Uh, mining ship's going to go there, perfect. And can I use... Oh, did I pass my? I think I, I think I uh, passed my turn. I can't. I can't do the research thing or the cards now. Um, okay. Go here. Grab. Grab that. Box got us a metal and some crystals out of that. Go this way. Okay. There goes that guy to go grab the um, asteroids. And you still didn't make it? Go faster. Well, we're going to call it a day here. So this is uh, Settlers of Orion. It's available on Steam now. I'll put a link below and you can check it out. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.